I've been a very silly boy. Hello and welcome back to the Tap Cave. Now if you saw my last vlog you will have seen I was sorting out bundles of Nerf guns to put on. I did a big bundle of uh, blue guns which included the hail fire and another big bundle of uh, yellow guns and I went for £50 on the bundle of yellow stuff and pushed it to 65 on the bundle of blue ones. They both sold within 24 hours. So I thought for this little video I would share um, packaging those up and how I'm going to ship those. I get a lot of requests for packaging videos. I'm not going to do all of today's orders. We've had some great orders actually. Also sold a camcorder for £90. I've already shipped that. That went UPS. I think I'm going to... I might go UPS with these. I'm not sure yet. Either UPS or Hermes. Um, so yeah, let's go and find the guns and we will then find some big boxes to put them in. Right, so these are the blue ones uh, all in here and that is the bundle of yellow ones. So I grab these and dump them. I've actually had a had a bit of a sort out and a clean up last night so my packing area is much clearer. These are all the supplies that turned up the other day. Tape there. All of my boxes are nicely stowed now. All the ones I picked up the other day. Yeah, so it's looking good. And that's the other lot. I also sold, um, I listed an individual um, Magnus, one of the red mega guns. Um, that sold straight away, but that's already gone. So, I've got to find two boxes big enough for these. Okay, so I found a couple of boxes. I've got this long, thin one, which I think should be adequate for the yellow guns. And this one, which should be more than enough for the blue guns. Um, in fact, I reckon I'll have to probably cut the top down a bit. Um, but there we go. So let's quickly test this for size before I start wrapping the guns. The plan's going to be um, to wrap each gun. I have this paper here. This is like, um, you know when you go to a chip shop and they wrap your chips up in that newspaper. It's basically that. So I've got a big, big wadge on my packing table here. So I'm going to quickly just do a test that there is enough space in here. Pretty sure there is. The only gun that's particularly large is that one. Yeah, and that fits, so. Yep. There's loads and loads of space. I mean, I could cut this down a bit if I needed to. We'll see, once they're wrapped individually in the paper, we'll see how far, we'll see how far up they come. Another thing with Nerf guns, I mean, these are made for kids and they are very robust. You can chuck these things around within reason and they won't bust, so. I don't have to be overly careful. They're not going to be bubble wrapped or anything. Um, they're just going to be padded so they're not bouncing around in there. Okay, so that didn't take long at all. It really felt like I was in a fish and chip shop. Just packaging up uh, people's fish and chips. Um, so I'm now going to pop them all back in uh, and see, we'll see then if the box needs to be cut down at all. If you take a look that's what it looks like now. I think I'm just going to trim the box and fold that down. So, what we'll do, we'll cut up on each corner from where we think the height is going to be. So, 
up there. Cut the four corners and then we score that across here. That folds down, gives us the first edge there. And then if we take that line across to here. Do the same here. Finally, and there we go. So that's all ready to be taped. There's very little movement in there. Happy days. is the first job lot done. So next box, um, I'm pretty sure this is way too big. Um, I might just have a quick look, see if I've got a box that's a more sensible size. So I think that's probably twice what I need. Okay, so I've dug out this one, which I think is gonna be close. So we'll quickly do a test and see if it's all gonna fit in there. So the main gun and the bulkiest one is this. We'll start with that. Oh, that's close. That's just about right for that. But whether that leaves enough, enough room for the rest is another question. I think it will. Yep. Yeah, that's gonna work. Obviously, they're not padded yet, so I think once these are padded, that, that will fill that perfectly. So it was worth digging out another box because the original one, if you compare, that I was going to use was absolutely massive in comparison. And that would have been overkill. I just realized I've been a very silly boy the first bundle i forgot to include the ammo that i'm chucking in with the bundle so i've now got to unseal that first box and pop this in That's so so annoying you'd be surprised how often i do that though when i'm packaging electricals i often forget to put the power lead in or or the remote the remote is a classic i've shipped out vid video machines and cd players and stuff without the remote before now. So yeah, that's annoying. Okay, I've just um, added the ammo into here and resealed it. And now it's time to individually wrap the, the rest. I think I'm not gonna do that one yet. That'll probably just go in as is and be padded around it. But I'm going to individually wrap all of the others. Okay, so that didn't take long, so they are all wrapped and ready to go. So, I'm going to now, I might put a couple in at the bottom, a couple of the smaller ones, like so. Drop that in, and then build these in around it. So that's going to work 
Um, and then what I'm going to do, I've got the hail fire kind of sat in the middle there. I'm going to take these top three out, pad around the hail fire, and then put these back in. A little bit of void fill, and that will be good to go. Okay, so we're just about there. Um, I think I'm gonna put some scrap cardboard on the top um, to finish that off and then we are good to go. as I'm walking in wondering what you were doing. Also, I'm never quite sure if you're behind the door then. And I'm going to talk <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cheers. What are you doing? Packing Nerf. Uh, okay. okay, bye now. There we go, job done. Um, I'm still not sure whether these are going to go Hermes or UPS. Um, I think I'll go UPS actually. I mean, it, it's fairly high value. Uh, the first lot was 50, this lot was 65. Um, and I do have a little bit more faith with UPS not losing stuff or destroying stuff. So yeah, I think we'll opt for UPS on these. I went with UPS as I said and I booked it through parcel to go um, just Google parcel to go it, it's a comparison site um, the price for these was there or thereabouts the same with Hermes or UPS um, so I've gone with UPS um, I've just paid uh, you can pay using PayPal which keeps everything neat and tidy for me um, business wise now I use a thermal printer, this uses 6x4 labels, um, so you can use a 6x4 label printer option, so if we go for that, has it done it? There we go, and then come down here, oh wait, I had already done it. I've just changed the view, I don't, I don't want to be showing uh, addresses on screen. So yeah, it's as easy as that. Um, and then I just click print on these and the label printer will spew out the labels. There we go. Okay, all done. So labels are on. I'll go and drop these off. Um, with UPS, I use an access point, uh, which is a local shop who um, scan your parcels in and then UPS collects from there. Um, that's about five minutes down the road, so it's quite local to me. It's really handy. So that's what I will do next. Drop these off, and then that's the last I will see of them. Fingers crossed. One last step, actually, before I drop those off. Um, with parcel to go they send you an email, um, which has... Um, you can click to get a PDF of an invoice, which I am just about to print off. Uh, I do that on our little laser printer, which is here. All of the equipment we use uh, in our business is listed in our description below so you can click through those links and go and have a look uh, if that's useful to you. So Samsung laser printer print and then you've got that for your tax records. And there we go so that is done. Uh, total for those two parcels was 1486. 
Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I get a lot of people requesting packing videos. So I thought I would make one. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.